We're here at the Enchanted Forest for a field trip. The Enchanted Forest is really cool because it's a place where we can bring our imaginations to life with nursery rhymes and fairy tales. Well, we got a castle right here and there's a lot more to see. So let's go explore. Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Come on. It's a treasure chest with lots of treasure. I see gold treasure and silver treasure. Oh, this says mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Hmm. Oh, there's an alligator down here. Chomp, chomp. Aw, a hippopotamus. Hi, hippopotamus. Ooh, flamingos. I see one, two, three pink flamingos. Okay, let's check this out over here. says to the tower, be king of the castle. A nice view from up here. We're at the top of the castle. Whoa, this does feel like a real castle. There's a dungeon down here. Let's go see what's in the dungeon. It looks like some dragons are in here. Rawr. Hey, there's a nursery rhyme right here. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row? See, there's Mary with her garden. Hey, look, it's the three little kittens who lost their mittens. But I heard they found their mittens. Here they are having pie. And their mittens are on the clothesline. Hey, that's a nursery rhyme. The three little kittens found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. Put on your mittens, you silly kittens, and you shall have some pie. Nom, nom, nom. It's a rainbow, which makes me think of imagination. I is for imagination. I, I, imagination. Have you heard the story of the three little pigs? Well, right here we have the wolf who tries to blow down the houses of the three little pigs. Oh, look, it's the first little pig. The mailbox even says, first little pig. And this little pig built a house out of straw. Ooh, we can even go in the little house. I'm gonna go in. Well, this is cool. I can open and close the door. Ooh, I'm gonna come out. The wolf huffs and puffs and blows down the house of the first little pig. The house made of straw wasn't strong enough. Oh, look, it's the second little pig who lives right over here. Hi, little pig. Oh, there's a mailbox that says second little pig. I'm gonna go in his little house. Looks like it's made of sticks. Oh, this little piggy has a bed in here. Wow. The 
This is a cool house. Whoa, tiny house. The wolf huffs and he puffs and he blows down the house made of sticks. Okay, both Piggy 1 and Piggy 2 have nowhere to go. So they run over to their other Piggy friend's house. Hmm, where is that? This way. Oh, the third little piggy lives here. I see the mailbox that says third little pig. Oh, and there's a door right here. Let's go in the house made of bricks and see if little piggy is home. Oh, hi, little piggy. I see a table with two chairs. Whoa. This house even has a front door and a back door. It looks pretty sturdy. Both little piggies come to live with their friend in the brick house. The big bad wolf comes along and tries to huff and puff the house down. He goes huff and puff and he can't blow the house down because it's made of bricks and the bricks are too heavy and too strong. So the pigs live happily ever after, of course. Hey, the three little pigs are celebrating a birthday. I see they have a cake with candles. all these frogs around this pond and this waterfall. And there's some on this side too. Oh, and a dragon up there. Cool. Horses. Well, let's try and ride it. Woo! It's an excavator. Let's try it out. It's the little old woman who lived in a shoe. It's a nursery rhyme too. Hey, that rhymed. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth and plenty of bread. She kissed them all fondly and sent them to bed. The door opens and you can go in the house, cool. Hey, look, a little pond with ducklings. It makes me think of that song. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only four little ducks came back. Hey, look, another nursery rhyme. Hmm. I see a dish. I see a spoon. I see a cow that jumped over the moon. Hey, wait. I know this nursery rhyme. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. It's a big pirate ship. That must be the captain of the pirate ship. Wow, the pirate ship has a big sail. the ship, we can pretend to sword fight the captain. Ha! Ha! I'm going up! We're at the top of the ship! Super cool. Another nursery rhyme? Little boy blue, come blow your horn. 
the sheep's in the meadow and the cow's in the corn. Where's the little boy who looks after the sheep? Under a haystack, fast asleep. You know what I like best about a nursery rhyme? The fact that it rhymes. It's just so catchy. Hey, look, it's an elf. Out of the forest crept a wee elf. He sat under a mushroom to shelter himself. It's little Miss Muffet. She's right here. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating of curds and whey. There came a big spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Here's the spider. You know what that makes me think of? The itsy bitsy spider. And itsy, i, i, itsy starts with the letter I and makes the i sound. Let's sing the itsy bitsy spider song. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Hey, I know this fairy tale. It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Do 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 do. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Looks like they do some mining and they've collected some things from their mining when they go off to work. And this must be the house they live in. Hey look, there's little beds for little dwarfs. I'm gonna go out this way. Whoa! This might be the coolest treehouse I've ever seen. Let's climb up it. Hey look, it's the tortoise and the hare. The story of the tortoise who went slow and steady to win the race. Here's the finish line. It says, finish. Sometimes the fastest isn't always the one who wins the race. At least that's what the story's about. Cool. Look at this. This looks like the yellow brick road. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh, this must be the Wizard of Oz's house. This is Emerald City. We have green emeralds here. We can go in this house. Ooh, it's a lion and a tin man and a scarecrow. Kind of makes me feel like Dorothy. Oh, it's Dorothy and Toto, her dog. Looks like they made it. They made it to the Wizard of Oz. So cool. Time to go back down the yellow brick road. Tea for two with the turtle. Let's go have tea. Hello there, turtle. Are we having tea? Delicious tea. It's the gingerbread man. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. There he is. Run, run, run. Gingerbread man, run, run, run. Whoa, look at this really cool house. And the door opens. Okay, I'm gonna go in the house now. Whoa, and there's tiny little chairs here. Somebody really small must live in this house. Look 
how tall and pointy the roof is. Ooh, I can go in here too. Oh, look at these stairs. They look pretty steep, but I'm gonna go up. Whoa, look at me way up here. Oh, wow. We must be in the Hundred Acre Woods because it's Winnie the Pooh and his friends. Look, it's Christopher Robin, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore, and Owl, way up at the top. It's Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home bringing their tails behind them. Whoa, this is a huge tree house. Okay, I think this is the best tree house we've seen yet. Let's climb all the way to the top. Let's go. Little Red Riding Hood. She's little and she has a red outfit with a hood. Oh, this way to Grandma's house. Oh, it looks like a big bad wolf with sharp teeth. Rawr. Okay, let's go find Grandma's house this way. It's Little Red Riding Hood's Grandma's house. Let's go in. Whoa, there's a desk over here. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Hi! Well, that was neat. It's the home of the three bears. I think it's the story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Let's go in the house and see what's in there. Ooh, I see some of the bears. Must be Baby Bear, and maybe that's Daddy Bear there. They have some porridge here. The story of Goldilocks and the Three Bear goes that Goldilocks is a little girl who finds a house where bears live, and she tries their porridge. Daddy Bear's porridge is too hot. Mommy Bear's porridge is too cold. But Baby Bear's porridge is just right. Whoa, and look up here. It's all the beds. Daddy Bear's bed is too hard. And Mommy Bear's bed is too soft. But Baby Bear's bed is just right. Oh, it looks like a magical well with a magical book. And once upon a time, a wee wizard crept out of the enchanted forest and granted each and every person a goodwill and a kind spirit wish. Okay, make a wish. Close your eyes. Did you make a wish? Good job. Hey, look, it's a Springer Spaniel. Get it? A spring Springer Spaniel, that's a type of dog. Oh, that's punny, I love a good pun. Get it? Because it's a Springer Spaniel and the dog is on a spring and oh, that's so silly. It's Mother Hubbard's house. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to give the poor dog a bone when she got there, the cupboard was bare, so the poor little dog had none. Hey, come look at this. It's 
a water wheel. The water makes it spin around and around. Hey, what's that over there? Looks a little strange. Let's read the sign. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. The Enchanted Forest was a really cool place to visit. It was neat to learn all the nursery rhymes and the fairy tales that were here. I think some very creative and imaginative minds came up with those really neat stories. Thank you for coming on this field trip with me. Join me for more preschool learning videos. Just search for Miss Rebecca's Super Starts. See you next time.